Hey there guys, this is John here of course, and uh, I'm not really doing anything too special today, just hanging out in the woods, man. Uh, it's mid-August, it's been absolutely brutally hot, man, just like 95 to 100 degrees non-stop, and we finally got a break, we had a cold front move in, and so today's uh, probably in the mid-80s, man, but it just feels just feels perfect after that heat we've been having, so out here taking full advantage of it, man. But anyway, what I'm doing, uh, the reason I got the camera set up is I'm going to make lunch and I'm actually uh, going to be doing it with a meal that uh, is kind of cool. It's kind of a good backpacking meal. Uh, some of you guys are probably already familiar with these things, but you know, I, I wanted to share them with you guys uh, for those of you that aren't. But just a really simple yet hearty uh, hiking backpacking meal here. And what we're going to be doing is making some Southwest style burritos, man. Just quick and easy, simple, not much to it. And we're going to be using these old El Paso tortilla stuffers. Uh, what they are is just a complete meal, uh, pre-packaged. Uh, I mean, you got veggies in there, some corn, some peppers. Uh, this is a mesquite chicken dill, so we got some chicken and rice going on in here. Uh, just a perfect addition for uh, the Southwest style burritos we're going to be making. Uh, we've got a couple uh, tortilla shells, of course, to get those uh, loaded up on. And then uh, just a packet of some fire roasted salsa to just top off that uh, Southwest style uh, burrito here. So anyway, that's what we're going to be doing. I've got the lightweight cook kit along with me. And of course, I got the tree table set up here. You guys obviously can plainly see. Um, this is one I got from a good buddy of mine, Crag Dwella. He was kind enough to actually make this by hand for me and send it over. And loving this thing, man. This thing's been absolutely invaluable. Uh, it forms a nice base in my pack. Uh, you know, this little day pack I've got to keep it kind of Give some kind of frame to it and uh, doesn't weigh a lot and obviously comes in handy for uh, like I said cooking up a good meal up off the ground and keeping the bugs and the dirt out of it so anyway that's pretty much the whole setup here so we're gonna go ahead and get this uh, started and uh, show you guys just how uh, simple this is here to, to make that's one of the things I love about this is that just the ease of uh, preparation on this I mean it's you'll see as we as we get this going here but it's just a really quick easy uh, meal to make on the trail but I mean just absolutely hearty and feeling as well so and there's no cleanup that's the best part you can do it with boiling water so uh, absolutely can't beat that and break out the break out the old uh, cook set system here kind of breezy today you guys probably notice uh, notice a little bit of wind noise rustling through the trees uh, possibly even picking some up on camera there but uh, that means we are going to definitely need a windscreen today, without a doubt. So, uh, get this all set up here. But, uh, anyway, so we've got the stove uh, fueled up there. Now we're going to need a little bit of water for this. Not a lot, actually. Now I'm just going to steal some out of my uh, hydration bladder here. This may take a minute, so... All right, well, we've got about three quarters of a cup of water in here. Uh, that's about, I think this is a two cup capacity little pot, but uh, anyway, about three quarters of a cup of water. Don't really need a lot in there for this. Uh, what we're gonna be, well, I'll show you what we're gonna be doing. Let's fire up this alcohol stove first here. We've got that going, we'll let her bloom up a little bit there. But uh, anyway, while that's getting ready to bloom, uh, the thing about these is they're microwavable. So what that's gonna allow us to do is cook it right in the pot there in our boiling water. We'll go ahead and open up a little bit uh, at the top of the package to let it vent. And uh, just go ahead and kind of squeeze this so it's gonna fit right into our cook pot there. And uh, that's about it, what we're gonna do is get the water going. We really don't even need to get it to boil. I mean, these things heat up pretty quick. So we'll go ahead and just get that water on there, get it uh, warmed up a little bit, and go ahead and stick this whole package down inside there and uh, let it heat up for, I don't know, a couple minutes or so. Like I said, it doesn't need to get to the boiling point. So uh, just, just enough to get it nice and warm, the uh, contents of the uh, packet here. So.
Uh, we've got a nice bloom going on here, so I mean she's about ready. So anyway, we'll go ahead and let that water warm up just a little bit, and then uh, check back in on these. Well, it's been a couple minutes now, so we'll check on our water. Jeez, oh, already getting some bubbles in here. That goes fast. So, like I said, uh, simply kind of crunch the package up together, get it to where it's going to fit down in there. And uh, that is about it. She'll fit down in there nice and easy like that. And it looks like the three quarters cup of water worked out about perfect. Of course, what's happening here is the uh, contents of the pack, once we stuff them in there, is, are displacing a lot of the volume inside there and creating or allowing the water rather to come up around uh, most of the package, almost getting it. Uh, pretty close to the top there, so that's pretty much all there is to it. We'll go ahead and let this heat up here, let that water warm up the contents of the pack, and uh, we'll have ourselves some burritos going on here pretty quick. I think we're about done here. It's only only takes a couple minutes. I think the recommended microwave time on these is like 60 seconds, so uh, it doesn't take long at all. And in the boiling water, it's uh, very much similar. It just cooks up nice and nice and quick there. Yeah, she's nice and warm, so good to go. We got us a meal, so we'll go ahead and get this table cleared out here and uh, dish us up some burritos. All right, well, we've got the tortilla shells here, so go ahead and dish us up some grub. Looks like the bee wants some, too. She's after a little plate there. What we'll do is go ahead and kind of smush that around a little bit to get it just kind of mixed up a little bit. And that's about all there is to it, really, really nice and simple. And uh, no utensils needed in this. Uh, that's the beauty of it as well. Like I said, I love this just for the fact that you get a good hearty meal out of this. And uh, easy to cook up. And there's absolutely no cleanup. So, can't beat it. Got a little bug here. The beauties of uh, cooking in the outdoors, huh? Bugs and dirt. Can't beat it. So, uh, there we go. Got our uh, mesquite chicken. And uh, of course, we gotta top that off with a little bit of fire roasted salsa here. Can't be a Southwest style without it. All right, so now all that's left is uh, go ahead and get her folded up and uh, get ready to munch out here. That's what I'm talking about right there. Mm. So, look at that. That's our uh, Southwest Burrito, uh, courtesy of Old El Paso, guys. Uh, beauty of this, too, is it's only a couple bucks, so... Uh, it's not as expensive as, you know, typical prepackaged backpacking food. So, anyway, uh, taste test time. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Wow. That hits the spot right now, I'll tell you what, man. That is good right now. Mmm. Delicious. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm not going to subject you guys to watching me eat here. Uh, I've already subjected you to watching me cook. So, anyway, I'm going to dish up my other uh, burrito here, go find myself a nice log, and uh, chill out, get some lunch here, and then get back on the trail. So, anyway, hope uh, you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, I know I've enjoyed the day out here today. It's been an unbeatable day, like I said. The weather is just absolutely beautiful today uh, once I get this grub in my belly I'm gonna be a lot happier too so and like I said give me a little bit more fuel for the uh, the old fire there so anyway guys uh, take care and we'll be seeing you soon